All right, here we are going to new computer art tutorial. Uh, what we're going to be getting into today is using some basic kind of drawing um, selection tools to kind of create this uh, landscape going in a monochromatic color scheme here. Um, this is an update from an older project that I had done in Photoshop Elements, so updating for Photoshop CC 2017. Um, for size, what we'll go with is a width of 11 inches, height of 8, and a resolution of 300. Make this nice, sharp, and pretty. And so what we're going to use for basic drawing tool here is actually our lasso tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and hold off the side of your screen, or your workspace there, rather. And go across, kind of making this kind of squiggly, jagged line. Hold your mouse all the way down as you go around the bottom part of your canvas. Come back to the starting point and let go. There is where we are going to kind of fill in our first color area. Now, actually going to start by not doing this on my background layer. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. On layer one is where I'm going to fill this first space. So again, I'm going to go over to my color picker. Um, and I'm going to start with the darker colors and then go lighter and lighter and lighter. So, in this space here, take my paint bucket and fill in that space a dark green. Now I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to move this back a little bit. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. Take my lasso tool back again. And now I'm just going to stay up. I'm going to go up a little higher in the corners, but then come lower as I get towards the middle here. And again, hold your mouse down as you go all the way around the edges and bring it back and keep it closed. Now I'm going to go back to my color picker, make this color a little bit lighter, Ooh, that's too drastic, and then take my fill bucket, fill in again. So you can see this layer is underneath here, right? So if I were to click on my background, create a new layer again, it's going to always create a new layer on top of the one where you're currently at. So now again, Command D, Take my lasso tool, go again, make it a little bit taller on the edges, come down towards the middle, and then go up more on the sides. So it kind of has this valley sort of look going to it. And then we're going to make a mountain layer in the background. So there we go with another uh, selection area. That again looks a little too drastic. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and knock in that area. Command D will let me get back to a new start. Let me just see how many I had in this other one. One, two, three, four before the mountain layer. So um, we could now go into the mountain layer. I might just add, um, you know, you could add as many layers as you want. Maybe I'll add one last one here where it kind of goes down and maybe even goes a little bit behind that layer there. So again, holding my mouse as I go all the way down and around the edges and letting go. Need to make a new layer for this land and go back to my color picker, make it a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter now, and then fill that in and Command D. So now you got this little landscape kind of going back and back. Um, we're going to add in one last layer. So layer five here is going to be where our mountain is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take my lasso one last time here. And I think let's make this start at the top. It's going to kind of come in. We'll get this mountain in the middle here. And then Kind of make this line go all the way up the edge there. Oops, and as you see, I let go as soon as I got off the side here. Gonna have to try that one more time. So this comes down, went up for the mountain, comes back down, and off the top. Oof, geez, two times in a row. All right, I got this. I keep running out of space with my mouse here in my workspace. No excuse though. There we go, going all the way across, up, and then this time, I'm gonna click and hold that mouse, keep it held, keep it held, 
all the way around, run another marathon, and made it. Okay, so um, this last one is actually going to be turned a little bit darker than the others. Just kind of creates that effect that it's actually like lit up by the sky in the back there. And fill that in. And there we go. We're on our way here. So um, last couple of things that we'll add in. Um, we're going to get into adding in some clouds and sky in the background. Again, could keep those really kind of simple as um, I'm going to go ahead and take a very light color, same kind of scheme here with my monochrome scheme and fill that background layer in with that color. So my background's all that flat color now. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my lasso again and try and draw some cloud shapes up in the sky here. Again, your cloud shapes can be, you know, any number of kind of shapes. There really is no right or wrong when it comes to clouds. Don't make them too um, poofy though. I think if you make them kind of long and drawn out, you get more realistic look with your clouds. I'm gonna hit Command D. Um, that one didn't look like it went too bright or contrasted enough with the sky color, so I might go a little bit on the lighter side for this next one. Switch to my paint bucket here and fill that in. Um, Command D. Let's see if, nope, it won't let me just fill in that spot. Um, but if I use my magic wand, maybe? Nope. Didn't want to select it. But if I change my tolerance to two? Aha! So, now I can fill in that same cloud as that color. And that's a little lighter and I think works a little better. So other couple of things that I might add here is maybe some highlight edge to my mountain. And fill that in, same kind of way. Oh, I'll have to be on my mountain layer here though in order to get that in the right spot. Um, again, that might want to be more of a another color like the one that we used uh, for our mountain keep losing my eyedropper here so maybe kind of like this color could work in this particular spot and that kind of works for like a shadowed side of the mountain um, so that would work for me for now um, let's go ahead and kind of push onward in here and we're gonna add some trees that's what we're gonna add to this next part so um, go ahead and click on your custom shape tool now if you're not seeing that you may be seeing your rectangle tool or maybe your ellipse tool um, click and hold on your shape tool there and go down to custom shape if we want to see kind of this nature menu in here we'll go up to your top bar Click on the gearbox and you have some different um, shape menus of different kind of stamps and stuff you can add. We want to choose nature and say okay and this tree that we're looking for should be the very first thing we see here. Now you do also have some cloud shapes but they're those typical cloud shapes that are very poofy and round and not really realistic. So let's go ahead and stick with kind of this just using the tree for now. Um, to go into this part. So uh, when I take my custom shape tool, I want my fill color. You can see I've got recently used colors here so I can kind of match these with the ones that I've already taken. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do just that. So if I use this color and I click and drag to make a tree here, um, I put this in the wrong layer spot. So I'm just gonna hit Command Z. I need to make sure that I click on my first layer here and what we should be looking for is big trees up close to us and then small trees further away from us. Okay, so going back to my custom shape tool here, again, I'm going to make a larger tree up close to us on this layer here and now maybe what I'll do is go back to layer two. I'm going to change my fill color to this lighter green here and this is going to be this green here um, and then when I click and drag these should get a little bit smaller as I put them on 
the layers going back further. Okay, so you can see these getting smaller and smaller as they get lighter and lighter in tone. So now I'll go down and maybe click on the next layer back here and go ahead and change my custom shape color to this lighter green here and try and add some on this sh uh, layer in the back. Again, pretty small as they get further in the distance is the idea we want to work with. Okay, so you can see how um, this is progressing along pretty nicely. Um, and you can add as many or as few trees as you really like. I may end up um, wanting to come back and go more heavier in the foreground here to fill up some more of this space. Um, as you can see, I got into a little bit more of these clusters in my original one here. So, um, yeah, I hope you have lots of luck and get creative with creating your own kind of mountain landscape here.